Since 2020, this college in Tunbridge has been operated by North Kent after the Hadlow College Group went into administration the year prior. Formerly known as West Kent College, the site featured an outbuilding known as Hawthorne, purpose-built for film and TV production as well as art and photography. It was decided last year due to rising costs to close this building from the 2023 term onwards and facilitate the courses within the main building. A former office space has been converted into classrooms and workshops for the art and media department, although the studio space, which was meant to be completed by September last year, is still only partially finished. I've met with Paul Burgess, a technician who manages the media equipment and resources to discuss the current situation. What sort of equipment is available for the students regarding like filming and stuff? Well, we've got a we've got a range of equipment, um, ranging from a fleet of um, Sony 700D um, DSLRs, which are like the mainstay of the mainstay of the, the fleet. We've also got um, four Nikon's. We've got a number of purpose-built um, Sony video cameras, um, and also some small pocket video cameras which very few people seem to use. Um, we've recently um, acquired three Blackmagic um, broadcast quality studio cameras and some lenses for those, which are going to be deployed in the studio over the next few weeks. Right, and um, do, you, do you think that that's like a good sort of setup? for like, uh, how, how old are those sort of equipment? Um, the equipment, yeah, somewhere it's getting is is fairly old, but it actually works, and the quality of the output it produces is extremely good. Um, I think you know, there's this inclination to say it must be the latest, must be 8K. Yeah. But actually, in terms of the quality of the finished product that students produce, that yeah, that's secondary because we're not actually making. Um, we're make, not making films to the cinema, we're not making broadcast quality pictures. The, the technology is secondary. Yeah. Um, it's, the, it's the planning and the work around it that's the really important piece. So talking about the studio, just moving on to that sort of thing, um, we've obviously moved uh, away from the uh, outbuilding now into the main building. So what is the, the current situation regarding that? Well, the current situation is we've got a big studio space. Okay. And it's a space. Um, the What we're going to do is to move some of the fittings, the curtains, etc., which okay. will, sort of somewhat, you know, will give us some backgrounds, will dull the sound a little bit, because that's, the sound in there is very lively. Okay. And we'll make that a very nice and very flexible studio space. Um, and, and more in keeping with modern studio practice. Mm. Um, the old studio in Hawthorne was, was very nice for its time, but very much old school. Yeah. Um, the cost of, of modernising that would be enormous, bring it up to current standards. So is there anything you personally recommend in terms of like equipment and resources that the college could provide? Um, what can we provide that we don't have currently? Um, I'd like to see us perhaps update the lighting a little bit, some of the lighting's a bit, but it's, it's the quality, yeah, so this is old, but the quality of those um, lights we have in tune are extremely good. Hmm. It would be nice to have some more portable lighting equipment. There's all sorts of things that would be nice. Yeah. Um, but generally speaking, I think you know, we've, for the level we teach at, and remember we're no longer teaching at degree level. Yeah. Um, for what we're teaching, I think the, what we have is pretty good. Dartford is the flagship of the four campuses run by North Kent, complete with a free shuttle bus service provided to and from the local train station, and the only other to specialise in film and TV production. But how do their equipment compare? Similar to Tunbridge, they have a fleet of Canon DSLRs, as well as a TriCaster system with three Blackmagic cameras for broadcasting. However, they are older models which are only limited to 1080p, which is two times less than the resolution of Tunbridge's. There are also no dedicated video cameras, with the exception of Blackmagic Pocket Cinema cameras which are only available to degree level students. 
They also draw the short straw when it comes to the choices of lighting and camera lenses. Dartford has two separate studio spaces available for film work, though these spaces are only modified on a per project basis and are also used as teaching spaces as and when needed. There are more differences in the classroom, as Dartford allocates each student their own space for the duration of the course, while Tunbridge opts to place students dependent on the specifications of their projects. Dartford is once again unlucky in this instance, as their computers are considerably older than those at Tunbridge. Despite the advantages Tunbridge campus has in some areas, opinions from the students following the move have been mixed. Our studio is not finished yet. <laughs> yeah, it's very echoey. The studio as well, the acoustics aren't the best. It's quite echoey. But the studio is not good. It's not a studio, is it? It's a classroom. I think we could definitely have a better studio set up. It's slightly better in there, but um, it did start off a bit rocky. They've um, done like a divider, but you can still hear you can still hear the other people through the <laughs> still hear both um, groups, so studio. you have to tell one group to be quiet while you film. We don't even have blinds. And we haven't got blinds in our classroom. Which doesn't help when we're showcasing films we've made because you can't really see, especially when we're watching like a noir or especially a dark scene. £150 price that we paid. I'm not really seeing much of that in use, Absolutely. considering we just keep downgrading. Mm. Um, I've always loved the media course. Um, I think the course is incredible. I really like the content of the course. I think limited by locations a little bit and equipment, but yeah, I really like the content and the projects we're doing. It's, it's just, it's not as good as last year. Last year was, because we had two separate studios, so you didn't hear them. Yeah.